Hey guys, just a quick disclaimer. The next clip is going to be all raw footage. I didn't edit it. I just wanted to throw it up really fast, get my thoughts out there, and just speak the truth out. So if you want to bash this video, go ahead and do that. But uh, I hope you enjoy. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Get on Apple's level. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Verizon. Get on Apple's level. There are two things I want to talk about today. Number one, Verizon, you're definitely not getting the iPhone anytime sooner, unless this is some hoax or something, or, or some kind of way Apple's going to... Steve Jobs, I don't know Steve Jobs, but I probably do know that he's probably not going to take his phone, his number one phone, number one of the most main selling points of Apple right now, and give it to somebody who's bashing his product. I think in the, in the near future, Apple would have allowed Verizon to uh, put their networks on the iPhones. Definitely, it was coming because AT&T was screwing up with their coverage and it was getting bad publicity, and it still is. But now when Verizon hops on that and takes and takes advantage of that and tries to make the iPhone uh, less as a you know not as favorable to the market, then boom, it's gone away. It's definitely gone. So you you take your customers like me, Verizon, and put us in a hole right now because we want the iPhone. Don't get me wrong. We love the iPhone and we love your coverage, but when you don't want it, then when you don't want to have the iPhone, it just drives the customer just wild. All right. So definitely, I'm ha I'm gonna have to leave Verizon now. Uh, that's my that's my conclusion. I'm gonna have to leave Verizon now just to get the iPhone. And I think I'll be, be more often more happy with it. The next thing I want to talk about is um, Steve Jobs said some great quotes. One thing he said was, "Innovation distinguishes a leader and a, and a follower." Android and Verizon are teaming up and they're following Apple and AT&T in the iPhone. Okay? The iPhone had the creative line first. There's an app for that. And then they had the whole, you know, and now Verizon and Android's going, hey, let's make, there's a map for that. It's just, it's bad marketing, okay? When Apple has something that's creative first and then you try to do a spinoff of it, and when Apple's had that for months and months and now you finally come out with this, it's like... It's not even worth it, man. It's not even worth it. The next thing, uh, Apple, Steve Jobs did say another quote. I don't know the exact quote, but I do know he said something like, look to the future of what people want and make that, rather than looking what people want now and making it. Because if you look what people want now and you make it now, by the time it's finished and it's already out, people are going to want something more. Okay, that being said, Apple looked to see the future. They knew everything was going mobile. They knew everything was going, you know, smaller, mobile. So they made the iPhone, internet in your pocket, all these apps, all these games on the go. They have it now. They they did it back then when people really wanted it. And guess what? iPhone's number one. Now that the Android, Google, Verizon, all those good guys, now that they're they they're looking at it now as, oh my God, we got to hop on this. We got to make a phone that will that will beat the iPhone. Well, you made it now, and the iPhone's winning by so much so far ahead you should have you should be looking to the future of what people want and making that so the iPhone can be number two instead of number one so now it's kinda of confusing I know but Android and these guys they're they're making stuff that people want now and and Apple's over here they're probably making stuff that people's gonna want ten years from now eight years from now five years from now so they're not loot they're not winning the game they're not winning the game Verizon you're probably gonna lose a, a nice customer here idiots